Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I just want you to look at this video and um, it is wonderful, it is great. In case you are thinking of getting married or you have somebody that is planning on getting married, this would help you, this will help you. Uh, I still believe in the will of God, I still believe in God guiding us. Um, but this is not just only on marriage, but it has to do with every, every aspect of our lives. It has to do with every phase of our lives if we allow the lord to walk with us in fact as i was listening to to brother Guile talking about this it got to the point where i became emotional you know the the person concerned in this video met him and said i missed it now she truly missed it and brother Guile also could have missed it if god was not involved so the involvement of god in his life and his yieldedness now saved him from trouble now, if you have not watched the video I uploaded before this one where Pastor Kumi was answering questions on marriage and all that, please, you need to watch that and watch till the end and you will understand better. So, I want us to listen to Brother Gila Koni as he tells the story how that God was the one that, you know, masterminded his ways until he got to the point where he met his wife and there was reason where he almost missed it. He almost would have become a story, a history, but God helped him. He also yielded to God and the story is different today. I will see you in the next video, please. Try to watch to the end and share the video to others so that others will have a feel of this truth. God bless you. I will see you in the next video. Till then, from me to you, Shalom. To the end time truth television the channel for the lovers of truth for the truth of the end time so if you are a lover of truth give us a subscription and god bless you shalom one day i was weeping because it appeared as if all my colleagues they were moving I look at them as if they were really advancing. And I was wondering why God has decided to tie my own life down. That's the language I was using. I thought I was being tied down. I thought that I should also be free like anybody. So I said, God, but why? Why are you tying my life down? Why is this man like this and he's going on and you did not worry him? And if I decide to take one step, you are there to gag me and say, No, others may, you cannot. I say, Why? You know what he said to me? He said, Because, and I want to put it to you very simply, I told you that I have liberty to talk to you this morning. Eh? that God is giving me liberty to share with you something that you must carry. I said, Lord, why? The Lord said, disposables, they don't take time to make. When something is a disposable, something that you can easily discard, you spend so much time to prepare it. Eh? He said, but durables, they stay longer on the fire because of what we intend to do with them. He said, those ones that you see, they are going, you know, they are just like that. It's because they are appearing to disappear. But because I intend to brew inside of you an enduring anointing, and because I intend to go on a journey with you, that many of your friends and colleagues they don't know about and they have no part in it. That's why you can't go the way they are going. 
you are one of the called. The called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Oh, you are not hearing me at all. So one day, we went for a meeting. And suddenly as we finish, I don't know what happened. It's a wave that came upon us then. And everybody was asking. Yes, I said, bro, who is your special chick? Have you got one? Have you got one? Have you got one? And they were all asking. And you know what they are asking? They are asking, have you got one sister hook to hook? Have you got this one to hook? And this one was announced to me. I said, Bragule, we don't know why you are wasting time, but I got this one. And I said, I got that one. And I said, I know, I, and I saw them. And I stood there. I said, Lord, what about me? He said, my purpose for your life is not located in this. All these guests you are seeing here, they have no future in my purpose for your life. Hey. There was one that was very, very zealous that will come and pray with me. Every day she said, let's pray 12 to 1 every day. When we are praying, 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 one day I said, Lord, is this the one? You know, as young people, isn't it? Wow. Let's tell the truth now. I said, Lord, could it be this one? And I could not see why she should not be the one. If somebody is praying all this Jim 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 prayer, have you ever been in a meeting where a sister is really praying Jim Jim Jim? Serial Kandorobo Shendakamo Koriobo. And people like us. That you really want God to do something. You say, God, couldn't this be the one? See the way she's laboring in prayer. And for a while, the Lord seemed not to talk to me. I kept wondering. So one day as I was praying, the Lord came down and said, Concerning that sister, she is a thing of the earth. She has no portion where you are going. I said, but she's zealous. And he said, for a little while. Ah. But she's very prayerful. He said, just a little time. If you live long, you will see what I'm saying. I say, oh God, deliver me. Why is God so meticulous about me, about my marriage, about my life, about where I go, about where I stay, about where I live? It's because I am one of the God according to his purpose. Never you go out of this conference without a sense of understanding that you are not ordinary and that you are not one among the crowd and that God is setting his eyes upon you upon every step of your life because there is a purpose for which he has called you and you are fulfilling it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, I will not say I joyfully let go. I reluctantly say, Lord, you know that song I used to sing in those days? Thy will be done Thy will be done Oh, teach me from my heart to say 
Let me tell you. Sometimes the will of God is not palatable. Sometimes it is not exciting. Sometimes you only say that it will be done with tears. But if you are one of the called, the will of God is the best for you. So I was, I was doing as if God is punishing me when I said, I will be done. I will be done. Who oh, teach me from my heart to say that we be done? And quietly I will be saying, if not because God is being strict with my life, why can't I do that? And I will hear God every time I go to Nida. He said, others may, you cannot. I said, why can I not? He said, because you are one of what? The Lord. Am I communicating with you properly this morning? Because I'm talking now about living to fulfill his purpose. Walking with a purpose. Doing everything you are going to do in life with that purpose in your mind. Very critical. But do you know, even if the will of God was painful at the beginning, it gets sweeter by and by. I will tell you something. I obeyed God. I said, okay, Lord, I will wait for you whenever it is time. And the one that you know will fit not my present today, but the future that you are planning for me, I'm waiting, oh God. So I dispensed with that. And I was wondering, up to the time, because she was so nice, she looked everywhere spiritual. One day God said, I've told you that she's a thing of the earth. And whatever is of the earth is earthy. That which is heavenly is the one that comes from heaven. It was so surprising to me. <clears throat> that not many years after this sister disappeared from the radar of Christian fellowship I looked for her everywhere where is she I couldn't find she's gone into the world she had married all kind of marriages she changed all that I was looking at that and that I thought was something has disappeared and unfortunately, I never saw her for many years. The day I would see her, it was not more than two or three or four years ago, I was preaching like this. The crowd was much. The whole place was filled. And I don't know how, as I was preaching, my eyes went and located this person in the congregation. But ah, I wasn't sure. I've not seen her for 20 something years. More than that. I said, could she be? Could she be? But as a preacher, I dare not interrupt the word of God that I'm preaching. Otherwise, I will have called her out. I said, are you there? But on that day, I finished my message. I had preached about a wasted life. A wasted encounter. A man that had walked out of the purpose of God. When I gave the altar call, just as like you saw God doing something I missed yesterday, that's how people were coming in tears. I 
and I saw this person rolling in tears. I was too eager to know what she was weeping about. And because I was not supposed to do counseling, the counselors have taken over. So I went and sat in the car to be carried to where I'm going to sleep. And then one of the counselors said, there is someone who said he must see you. I said, eh. Say, you were together on campus. You used to be her leader in village evangelism. You used to go from village to village to preach. She is desperate. She must talk to you tonight. Otherwise, she will not go from here. As they were describing, I remember it. I said, bring her. By the time she came, you know what she said? She said, Brother Gulli, I have missed it. Nothing has worked for me. I went away from the Lord. I married that useless man. He beats me. Everything scattered. I have no child. I have no business. I have no home. I have no husband. Can God do anything with my carcass? While she was crying, I was also crying. I wept. But you will not know that my weeping is on two levels. <laughs> two <laughs> levels. I was weeping for her. But the second level of my tears was the, oh God, what a dungeon I would have been at. I would have become a shadow of what I was meant to be. I would have become history in my lifetime. With tears, I said, oh God, Thy will be done. Thy will be done. Up to tomorrow. I can never stop singing that song. Any man that will live to fulfill a divine purpose, that song will be your anthem. Even when you don't know what it means. If thou should cause me to resign What I prize most And I want to keep But I let go For your will Thy will When you know how to say At every time of your life Thy will, O oh Lord, be done. Glorify yourself at my expense. Oh, how much I say to God then. Father, don't mind my tears. There is nobody who became anything that does not shed tears. Lord, don't consider my tears. Let your will be done. Even if I don't understand now, Lord, let your will be done. Why? Because I am one of the called. When you are one of the called, God is meticulous about your life. God is concerned about your steps. God is deliberate about where you go. And God is very mindful of everything that is happening to you. When I got back to the room that night and I knelt down, I said, Lord, so you saw the end from the beginning. I only saw 
a wonderful sister. So you saw that something else is there that I did not see. Lord, continue to see for me. Lord, let me not depend on my eyes. Please, Lord, let your eye become my eyes. 